Remember when you used to dream of scoring for a big club when you were younger? Well, this youngster was able to put his dreams into reality at only 16 years of age. Today, we will be analyzing Lamine Yamal in his game against Granada. Here, the ball is played into Lamine, but as you can see, the opponent is able to get to the ball first. Now, as the ball comes to his teammate, you can see this opponent leave Lamine to step up to press the Barcelona player. So Lamine is going to check back to receive a chip ball. Now here as Lamine lets the ball roll past him, you can see the opponent pressing him from this side, leaving the space here for Lamine to take his touch into. As he continues to drive inside, you can see this opponent beginning to come in to tackle Lamine. So Lamine is going to release the ball out to his teammate before the opponent reaches him. Here you can see as Lamine receives the ball, he is put under pressure by this opponent. Lamine could play the ball here, but that would cause them to be easily closed down, so Lamine plays the ball back to the midfield. Lamine is tracking back to defend. He wants to keep the ball out wide. He should delay the ball a bit more as you can see when he steps in. The opponent has the ball right close to him, so he can easily take a touch around Lamine. Now Lamine is going to dribble forward a bit and as this opponent comes in this direction, it leaves the teammate free at the back to receive the ball in space. Right here, you can see as Lamine gets the ball, how there is space in behind the opposition defense and this teammate making a run in behind the defense. So Lamine is going to try and play the ball in over the defense to this teammate but doesn't get the best pass. Even though he loses the ball, he quickly transitions to defense as he blocks off the pass through the middle. Now as the ball is played out wide and the opponent opens up, you can see Lamine sprinting out to prevent the ball going forward. As Lamine receives the ball here, he does a couple of body feints to try get the defender off balance, but since he has good positioning, Lamine plays the ball back as there is no need to force the attack and possibly lose the ball. Here as the ball comes in, the ball is a bit too high for Lamine to take it down. Hence Lamine is going to head the ball down to his teammate to maintain possession. Now as this ball comes across the box, Lamine is going to take the ball down. Now here the opponent is in a good position, so there is no point in Lamine going one on one against him. So as he sees his teammate making a run into the box, Lamine is going to cross the ball. Now as Lamine receives the ball here, he's going to take his touch inside in this direction to create more space. Now here you can see this opponent has stepped a bit farther in this direction, leaving the space here open. So Lamine is going to take his touch in this direction, but as this opponent comes to tackle him, he is going to fake shot it before playing the ball back out to this teammate. Now Lamine is going to make a run in this direction to force this opponent to follow him, leaving space here for his teammate to run into and take a cross. Here Lamine decides to take the opponent on one on one, as he takes his first touch in this direction, it leaves this side open for Lamine to take his touch into, but as this opponent has overcommitted on the tackle, Lamine is going to cut the ball back. Now here Lamine receives the ball under a lot of pressure, he should take his touch out in this direction, but is closed down very quickly. Here you can see Lamine surrounded by three opponents on this side of the pitch, hence he is going to play the ball into midfield where there is space. Lamine is collecting the ball after a corner. Now, since he has space, he is going to shoot or either hit a long ball into the box to either of the runners. But since he is closed down, Lamine cuts the ball back and plays the ball back to the defense. Here the ball is going to be cleared out of the box. Now Lamine is going to hit the ball first time to try score a goal. If he had taken an extra touch he would have been closed down to fast. If you are enjoying the video so far, please subscribe for more analysis videos. Here as Lamine has played the ball out wide, he has pressure right behind him. The space is here so Lamine is going to take his touch back into that space before playing the ball back to his teammate. Here Lamine is going to take the ball down from the air. Now he is going to take his touch first in this direction to sell the defender, before cutting back in the opposite direction and playing the cross into the box. Here you can see this opponent running into Lamine in this direction. So Lamine is going to take his touch in the opposite direction, against this player's momentum. Now as he becomes closed down, Lamine is going to play a pass back to his teammate in space. Here you can see this opponent step up in this direction to try intercept the ball, leaving space on this side. So Lamine is going to use his body to shield the ball off from the opponent and turn into the space. However, the defender does a great job to defend the turn. Here the ball is played in, and since this opponent isn't marking him, it leaves Lamine in space to score a simple goal.
becoming the youngest player in La Liga history to score a goal. Here Lamine is going to receive the ball and do a couple of body feints to try get the defender off balance. He decides the attack isn't on so plays the ball back. Here as Lamine takes his touch down, the ball goes a bit behind him. Now as he notices the opponent only marking the side he is going to take his touch out down the line and try play across. Even though he slips, he still gets up and puts pressure on the opponent to make it difficult for the opposition to get out and to try to force him to keep the ball in that half of the pitch. Here Lamine is going to take his touch inside to bring this opponent out of position. Now Lamine notices the run of his teammate in behind the defense and hence is going out cut the ball back across to try get the ball to his teammate. Here Lamine is going to track back to defend this opponent. Notice how when his fullback steps up, Lamine is covering the fullback in case the opponent gets around him. Now as the ball is tackled, Lamine is going to run in and get possession of the ball before playing it back into the midfield. Here as the ball is played into Lamine, you can see how the opposition have tracked back and now are set. Since there is no point in forcing the ball forward, Lamine is going to play the ball back into midfield. Here you can see how tight the space is over here with three opponents beginning to close him down. Lamine is going to play the ball back to his teammate first time in space in order to maintain possession of the ball. Now as he gets the ball back, he is going to open up and fake to go this way to cause this opponent to move in this direction, allowing Lamine time to play the ball. Again as Lamine receives the ball out here, you can see how many players the opposition have back, forcing Lamine to play the ball back into midfield. Now here Lamine is going to take his touch in this direction and pretend as if he was going to play his teammate making a run in behind forcing the opposition to track back with him, leaving space for him to play the ball back into midfield. Here you can see this teammate with space and time on the ball. Now, since this fullback has left space behind him, Lamine is going to run into that space to try and receive the through ball. Now Lamine is going to track this defender and try get the ball back high up the pitch. As he gets the ball back, you can see how this opponent has stepped too far in this direction leaving the space for Lamine to take his touch into on this side. Now as he notices this opponent flying in this direction, Lamine is going to take his touch against his opponent's momentum in the opposite direction. Eventually, he is closed down by too many players and isn't able to keep the ball. Again here, Lamine is just going to receive the ball and play the ball back into midfield. Here Lamine doesn't take the best touch as it escapes his feet. Now, since this opponent is coming in to tackle the ball, Lamine is going to play the ball out to his teammate and then move in this direction to receive the ball back again in space. Again here as Lamine receives the ball, you can see how many opponents they have back. The space is here so Lamine is going to take the touch into that space and play the ball back. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe to receive more analysis videos. Don't forget to put down in the comments who you would like me to analyze next. A like and share would be very appreciated. Make sure to check out these other videos on the channel. See you next time.